All right, welcome to another episode of the Intimidation Factor with your host, Tim. I've got some uh, sway bar links. They're di quick disconnect. I really don't see how they're quick disconnect. Like, if you want to take them right off, you'd have to, like, still unscrew some shit. And then your sway bar would be hanging there and it would be rubbing on your tires like it was doing to me before I put these links in. So I'll just show you the one I got done. Oh. That's the one I got done. She's ready to go on this side. But I still got to install the other side. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'll show you how they come. They come in this package right here. Rip open the package. There's the sway bar link. That's pretty much what you need right there. That's exactly how it's going to go in. Extra stuff here. I don't. This is for another vehicle, maybe, or if you got a different connector on top or something. I don't know. But don't need that. Anyway, this is the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need a hammer. You don't need it, but I used one, so fuck it. You're gonna need this here 11 sixteenths wrench. You're gonna need an Allen key that's cut at a lower height to get in for the screw. It is a CV6, if that means fucking anything other than jack shit to you. A little mini pipe wrench. And a three quarter inch wrench. And those are all the tools you need. So now we'll get to the installation part. Let's see how well I can get the shot going here. First things first, this is the quick disconnect part right here. Let's just pull that fucker right out and mount him. I believe we want that facing the inside. Let it quit. This is the part where the mini. Uh, Mini this guy comes into play. Fuck. Now when we install this, we don't want to tighten it fully. We just want to tighten it enough to the point where guy can get everything mocked up and tighten this last. For absolute fuck sakes for myself. I keep slipping. Keep slipping. What the flying fuck is going on here? being a son of a gun. So now I got the threads to about there. And now I'm going to want to go ahead and install this rubber washer. Get that all the way on there. All right. Now we can go ahead and install our sway bar link. First remove this nut. If it comes with it on, stick it up here, twist that nut back on, lock washer side up. Son of a bitch, you know what, there's a washer that goes up there too, but it's somewhere in the vicinity of the son of a bitch. Where is the vicinity of the son of a bitch? Yeah, that's right. So beg my part, I do beg my part, you got to go into this part and get the washer out.
All right, now it's already almost there. Almost being it is already there. By fucking, almost like magic it seems like for myself here. Now this is very important. You're gonna wanna install this pin back in right away. Because if you don't, it's all gonna get out of line and gonna be fucked. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and expand the whole unit using this middle nut here and this wrench. This three quarter inch wrench. Turning it. No, I'm not. I'm not turning it the right way. Why would I want to turn things the right way? It would fucking make sense or something, wouldn't it? Okay, I'll hold this top one in place so it doesn't turn as much as it wants to. much harder installing the first one when I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. But now, this thing just seems to be going in all smooth like. I wonder what the problem is going to be now. Fatigue maybe? Maybe that's a problem. Fatigue. My arms, I can feel them straining a little bit. My fingers don't. I usually like to use ratchets for stuff like this. But you can't this time. Fuck. Okay, I think I might just go ahead and tighten the top now. Just to get that. Stability factor chooching. I think that's about where the other one is. Yeah, looks pretty good up here. If you can tell up here where the sway bar link meets the sway bar, looks pretty good. Looks about the same height, same, same kind of hangulations. This is actually a tricky part. Trying to get this, uh, this here mini cut fucking guy in the right spot and then tighten it is a bitch, so. This is the wrong size wrench. This is where the, uh, 11 16 comes into play. can't probably quite see what I'm doing, but I'm tightening the top bolt right now. I'm just going to go ahead and save a bit of film. So 
I know this part's pretty simple. All I'm gonna really want to do is uh, turn this fucker, because I'll explain in a moment why I just turned that fucking thing and opened it. Now I'm gonna go ahead, tighten these guys up, because this thing's pretty much as tight as you're gonna get. Same amount of clearance. Same amount of clearance on either side. I'm gonna tighten these up. Oh, wrong wrench again. We want the three quarters for this one. Which way does that go? It goes that way. nice and tight right on so that's pretty much it other than this bottom bolt you're probably wondering what the flying fuck are you gonna do with this pin in the way well very simple bada boom bada bing as the maxi italians would say fuck son of a fucking bitch stay on Come on, you want to stay there. You really do. Fuck. Why are you being difficult? Because I'm on camera, I bet you. I bet you. That's exactly why. I didn't even need the hammer this time. Must have did something, something right. Starting to get tight now, should be right at the end of the threads. Yep, that's it, that's all for that. Flick her back, and guess what? Sway bar links are installed. Now, like I was saying, I don't really understand how these are quick disconnects. Because what you do to disconnect is you pull that out, and then that guy comes out, and then what? You're left with shit bolted on up there. And then when you take that off, this sway bar right here is going to come down and drag on the wheel. Like as you can tell, a little bit of different coloring right here, it was doing. So you know what? I'm not a big fan of these sway bar disconnects, but they're the only thing I could get that would accommodate my 6 inch lift on this Cherokee. So I hope you enjoyed the video of the sway bar uh, quick disconnect fucking bullshit son of a bitchery shit. Uh, until next time, keep fucking choochin'.